Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Now this is not diecast, this is Lego copy version. Why copy? Because it's not Lego original. This is a Aston Martin DB5 from James Bond. Now Lego original costs around 800 ringgit. This one just costs 90 ringgit. Uh, conversion for you in euro this one costs around 18 euro if you buy original lego it costs around i think more than 150 yep uh, i took three days to build this 1000 uh, 300 parts and it is very accurate let me show you first the size of the car is very big uh, I have measured the length and compared it to the real one so this is 1 over 13 scale 1 over 13 scale to show you the comparison this is 134 scale And it's just the length of the hood. Okay, they captured all the details of the Aston Martin correctly. This uh, vent here, the rear lights, and the front grille of Aston Martin. And they have many features, I think, uh, exactly the same, like in the James Bond movie. First of all, the machine gun that we can see pop up here uh, in the movie, in the latest James Bond movie. No time to die, right? So there's this uh, lever in the inside, which I can lower it and race and when I do that the machine gun rotates and pop out likes machine gun likes machine gun and then the number plates can be rotate and they are quite tight Front and rear can be rotated. There is a boot which you can open. And then you can, uh, there's engine details which you can open. The front uh, bonnet to reveal the engine. It even have a pipe here. Now, the, everything is uh, exactly the same as LEGO. Quality-wise, is um, it's okay. The only flaw is you get gaps like this. And you get some of the parts are different shade of grey. I don't know if original Lego have this problem. Then we go to the interior. You can see this uh, aircon vent, which I can rotate to become the satellite navigation. And the door is very thick. And on the other side, the door opens and there's a compartment here which we can raise and lower it to reveal the mobile phone. Back in those days, cars, uh, only James Bond have mobile phone. 
steering wheel is adjustable seats are 90 degrees but they have texture i will show you later and then there is this uh, shield which i can raise and lower by turning this exhaust see raise lower raise lower and uh, the last part is the ejector seat yes even lego can do ejector seat now many people says it doesn't work let me show you if you pull out this center piece here the roof opens okay so the roof opens you can see the interior there is a seat but it doesn't eject how to make it eject ah. the idea is you pull this part and release so it uh, there's a rubber band inside when you build the lego so when you release it uh, goes back in and hit a chair and the chair pops up let me show you pull release no it doesn't work try again pull release yes the chair pops up this is the chair okay again one more time there's this red thing here which slots into the hole okay i can show you what happens without the chair pull release so this thing hits the chair which launch the chair up again pull release and the chair bounce up one more time pull release so what do you think this is not die cast still it's worth a mention uh yeah i enjoy building it three days to build uh is i spend a lot of time if i do it slowly and relaxing it would take maybe a week because there is many many parts you see especially if i turn it over many many parts many moving parts so thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time bye bye